you just got yourself some customizable model like this one for example and your model has textures changes permitted hmm and you really need to do some ombre on your hair for example or on whatever you can do it even though you don't have any artistic experience you can do it clip studio paint someone some some somehow is having free uh, trials so you can you can use that and you can do it it's really nice quick and easy and 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 will look amazing i will show you how to do it uh first of all of course you need to go into your files find a file that has the part you want to die um and for me is this one i already dragged it in uh to the program and this one is my bangs uh here so let's start create new layer important uh clips your paint has this really good button here this button here makes it so you don't draw beyond what is there already so if you turn it off it's like this but if you turn it on it's like this it's a really useful tool with this one and it's easier than to do this in in photoshop for me so that's really nice that's why i i prefer uh <laughs> to do it in clip studio but yeah you color the white parts only you don't touch the dark parts because dark parts are actually just a shade um you see it there but it's it's a shade and and we we gonna leave it alone um next we're gonna blur the lines here so it goes from white to green nicely you can blur it like this and then as you can see the line art is gone how do we get the line art back easy you click multiply you have it with multiply because the base is white that means the multiply is making darker but also keeping the lines and keeping uh, the colors of the multiply layer and so this way you gonna get the best best resolution on this so multiply is the way to go on on this one if uh the base is not white and it's dark you will have to lighten it up first and change it in multiple multiple ways which is kind of hard to do uh i'm not gonna get into that but this is just enough and when you have that done you save it save it of course in same as same file it's same name replace it keep your um backup somewhere just to be sure if you fuck up something or just to be sure you can go back uh backups yes don't forget the backups now just save it with the same settings save it as it was on the same place and now reload the model when we reload the model the textures changed and you can see my bangs are dark now so that's how you do it if you want to change something else just find it in a in a <coughs> texture atlas and then add it easy good luck and have fun with your customizing if you need any more help with it just ask me um yeah see ya